Hi mommies and welcome back to my channel, the My Motherhood Made Easy YouTube channel. Now if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video and become my new best friend. Duh. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup. And if you're not new here, hey best friend, welcome back. Thank you for coming back and watching another video. I really truly appreciate you and everything that you do. Thank you. <laughs> I did not just try to rhyme on purpose, but I end up rhyming on purpose. Hi points. Anywho, today in this video, we're going to talk about how to have a baby on a budget. I have about seven mommy hacks for you guys to save up and to prepare if you're if you're planning on having a baby, to prepare for a baby. And if you're already pregnant and you're trying to budget out or you know get enough money or save up money for your baby coming, these tips are for you. And even if you had your baby and you're struggling right now when it comes down to money and you're trying to figure out a way to save money, I have some hacks for you guys today. You do not want to miss out. So definitely stay tuned to these mommy hacks, these baby on a budget hacks. I mean, for this video, guys. Dang. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, you guys. <laughs> trick you guys as soon as you find out you're pregnant as soon as you text it you start looking searching for stuff online i promise you i can bet my top dollar that you will start getting ads about babies pregnancy everything that's going to start coming up on all your social media instagram is going to try you well facebook is definitely the number one <laughs> platform that will try you you're going to see so many baby like baby like um products and so many things are going to come up to you and you're going to be like, how do they know? Are they spying on me? Yes, they are. They are very much so spying on you guys. If you didn't know. You can have a conversation about it on the phone. Guess what? You're going to have an ad on Facebook and Instagram. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> so, do not fall for the trap, okay? You're going to see things, promise you crazy things. Saying, oh, if you take this or if you use this, this is going to help your child with SID. It's, oh, if you take this, this is going to help your child be a baby genius. Yeah, no, no, it's not. I know it's not. I know you want to pull out your card now. I'm like, baby genius. Oh, I swipe that. No, do not fall for it, okay? You are better than this. Do not fall for it, mommy. They are going to try you. They are going to get your money. And you don't want that. You need your money. Your money is precious, okay? Just like this baby, okay? Do not fall for the mommy traps. Okay, so number that's number one, you guys. Do not fall for the new mommy hacks. Um, also, to add on to that, um, number two for the mommy hacks, or, or the mommy baby, mm, for the baby on a budget hacks, you guys, number two. So, do not feel as you need to get everything brand new, okay? And for the most part, you do not need to get everything. Okay, most people fall for the trap and they, they end up buying cribs um, before their babies were even born. The cribs are not really that important. You can get a bassinet and, you know, probably have a bassinet until your child's like six months or so. Or maybe, I'd give it like three, three to four, depending on how fast um, your child grows. Um, you can you can have a bassinet and get get away with some months, you know, until you, you have enough time to save up that amount of money for a crib. Cribs are not cheap, you guys, okay? Um, unless you want to get somebody to purchase a crib for you on your baby registry, mm, which the chances of somebody purchasing the baby crib for you are very unlikely because most people, when it comes down to uh, buying things for you, they're either going to buy clothes, they're going to buy diapers, you're going to have a whole bunch of diapers. Everybody seems like, when people don't know what to buy you for a baby, they automatically 
body diapers. Like, <laughs> that's like the go-to of baby, like, shower gift, like, diapers, okay? So you're gonna get a ton of diapers, okay? So it's, it's mainly gonna be the cheap stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're most likely gonna get cheap stuff. And it's, you, the chances of you getting a baby crib as a baby shower gift is very slim. At least you have some rich family members um, or friends that truly love you. I hope you do get a baby crib for free. But if you don't, guys, it's not the end of the world. Just get a bassinet. You'll be fine. So definitely do that. Don't be afraid of hand-me-downs either. Um, I was lucky enough, which, I mean, money wasn't really a problem for me, but... Um, this is pretty this is really cute if you still have this option i'm not sure if you're like your mom or your dad you know like your parents like saved up your baby clothes or anything like that but my mom um actually well my mom and my auntie they saved up my baby clothes so i had like a variety of clothes like i had you know newer clothes and then i had um my actual old baby clothes to like have my daughter like cipher through so it was kind of cute to like have pictures like side by side with me having the outfit on and my daughter having the outfit on and so that's another cute option, you know, that, you know, most people might feel more comfortable with. Um, and it's such a cute thing to see, like, the comparison. So I definitely would recommend you do that just to be like, oh, look. You know, a lot of people are starting to do that a lot, too. So you don't have to feel like an oddball or people are not going to look at you crazy. Like, uh, they would actually probably envy you because they're like, dang, I probably should have did that, too. Because that's definitely a cute option. Okay, so definitely that wasn't even part of my hack, but now it is, you guys. See, I better write this down. <laughs> All right. So. Baby on a budget hack number three. You guys, you do not understand how much we spend money on food. Food, I feel like, is a big money expense expense for everybody. Um, Because if you don't cook at home, if you're not cooking at home, and you're, like, spending money on every, like, meal you eat a day, and let's say you're spending money not just for yourself, but for your family members, like... More than one person, like you spending money for two, three, four, five people, like that's crazy. You know how much money you're spending a week, a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, do not do that to yourself. Start meal prepping. Meal prepping is like the best budgeting hack you can do. You guys, you do not understand. And if you have a very hard time um, planning out your meals, I recommend that you use five dollar meal plan. I absolutely love them, you guys, because I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little stingy with my $5, but <laughs> I gave in because I thought I could get away with just going on Pinterest, looking up food items, like food recipes, and making a list. But the downfall to that is trying to find a whole group of food recipes that have the exact ingredients or and that the ingredients, or there's not too many ingredients, and that the ingredients don't cost too much. And then trying to figure out which pan size and everything else, like, ugh, just don't even stress yourself out. Go ahead and go to, and try out five dollar meal plans for like two weeks. See if you like it. It's free. And then after the two weeks, all you have to do, all the only thing you have to do is pay five dollars a month, and they will send you weekly meal plans, you guys, with coupons. And they got coupons, so. If you really trying to save up money, these people are here for you, okay? I am trying it out myself, and I love it, all right? It is worth it. It is worth it. I am over my two weeks, so I'm actually paying my files, and I am happy about it. Because at the end of the day, if I really wanted to, I will have a whole full cooking book of meal plans, of like, you know, like recipes that I can do, you know? And that's going to be fun, because then I don't have to necessarily continue on more than a year with $5 a month. Like, I don't have to do that. Because by the whole year, I'm going to have a whole cookbook. Like, you guys, like, come on now. And you're going to be able to do this with no problem on your own. So become a meal prepping expert. Okay, you guys? So I will definitely be looking at below for you guys to try out. Definitely try it out for at least two weeks and see how you like it. You know, see if it works for your family, you know. I believe and I truly believe it will help you and your family out and save money. Okay, so you guys check that out. Um, another thing to coincide with that last some baby on a budget hack, you guys. Definitely number four. If you have not tried this out and you live near a Walmart, what are you doing? Walmart has this new service, you guys, where you can pick up groceries or you can even have them delivered to you. Like, what are you doing? Why are you still going to Walmart to pick up your stuff? 
Now, hear me out. You guys might be like, oh, I can go pick up my own stuff. That's no problem. And I have no problem walking through Walmart and going through every aisle to go get my stuff. And I got a grocery list and everything. No, no, no. Just cut it. 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 Now, you cannot say that you have not fell short of going grocery shopping at Walmart and going down and eat like each aisle and getting your stuff that's probably on your grocery list if you're that good enough to write a grocery list. And falling short by picking up something that was not on your grocery list or not in your mind to even get. Now you're spending extra money that you didn't plan on spending. So to stop yourself from doing that, you should try out the Walmart pickup app. Okay? So you can schedule with food. Well, actually, you can order. I don't know why I'm saying schedule, but you do schedule a pickup time. So you can order your food. You just write, if you still write your list, you write your grocery list just in case you don't forget what you need. And then you just go to the app. And you put in everything that you want. You get to see the prices and everything else. And you order it. And you schedule a time. And you can either go pick it up or you get it delivered. Now, I haven't tried to deliver service, services just yet. I have always picked it up. Um, and I like the pickup service because I just like going. If I do need to get out the, the house and just go somewhere, I can still at least go get it. But you might end up saving more money just by getting it delivered. I'm not sure if they have a fee for that. They probably have a slight fee. But you guys, you guys got this. This is nothing. This is going to save you gas. That fee probably is very much so less than the gas that's going to take you to get there and get back home. So definitely look into that. Um, and it's very much so easy. Like, I love just going and scheduling because I'm busy. I am a busy mom, okay? I just doing everything in the world that possibly can be done. Everything good, you guys. Don't do that to me. It's, uh, I just, I, sometimes I just don't have the time. And then I feel like I just don't feel like dealing with going in Walmart and dealing with their long lives. Like, who got time for that? So I just schedule ahead and pick up. And you don't even have to get out the car, you guys. That's the best part about it. Like, you just pull up. You tell them what spot you're on by the app. And they just come out and then associate, you know, goes over your order. Tell you um, everything you order and every, if any, everything is good. And then they just load it up in your car, you know. It's easy, quick and easy. They give you the rundown, you know, they because uh, Walmart has a fresh guarantee. So if you have anything like fresh items, like let's say you bought some salad lettuce and stuff like that or some milk. And if you're not satisfied with the freshness of your um, items, Walmart will actually let you return it, which I hope they don't reuse. I doubt they do that. But they will definitely re help, like, let you return it and, and get refunded for it. So definitely look into that, okay? I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys love it, too. It's going to help you save so much money, and I'm so happy about that. Yeah! We're going to save some money all 2020, okay? Now, another hack for you guys that are having a baby and planning on having a baby. I know I mentioned earlier about a baby registry. I absolutely recommend that you have a Amazon baby registry. First off, if you have used Amazon before, you already know that Amazon is a really good way to price check things. And you're probably going to have a very low cost of items on Amazon. So... Amazon is perfect. It has like a million products, a million different products you can choose from. You know what I'm saying? So like sometimes you can't find things in the store, but Amazon has it. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can possibly get it within two days for free if you have signed up for Amazon Prime. So if you guys want to try Amazon Prime as well, I'll definitely link that below for you guys. And I do have a blog post about um, Amazon Baby Registry. And I also do have a... Um, video on how to start your baby Amazon baby registry. So definitely check that out too. See you guys. I told you this best, this best friendship is going to be like amazing. You can thank me later, okay? Definitely. So definitely sign up for a baby Amazon registry. They have a whole bunch of like hacks for their registry. They give you like a free welcome box that has like a whole bunch of like baby samples for different companies and stuff like that. I have gotten a um, Muslim swaddle as that welcome box and I absolutely love it. I use it like almost every day for my child. I use it as a cover for when we're going out on her or her car seat. I use it to nurse her, which I do have a nice nursing hack for you guys that like that, you know, find yourself out in public and you have to nurse. Um, I have a hack for that that which was actually taught by another mom to me. So that's why it's really good to make mom friends and actually talk to other people, that other moms. So um, I'm definitely starting another, I'm starting a Facebook support group for moms too. So you guys can definitely join that also below. Um, and that's pretty much. If you have any other questions about the baby Amazon registry, definitely let me know. I'll answer them, put them in the comment section below. Watch the video, watch that blog post. And let's move forward to the next mommy tip. Okay, you guys, number six. Start couponing and start taking advantage of rebates, okay? There are several apps out there that you can use if you if you just need extra help or extra push or if you just want to continue just shopping like you normally do and just want to 
randomly receive cash back. I definitely have some apps like that for you guys as well, which um, some of the apps that come to mind is you can definitely get receive cash back for making purchases, um, like grocery purchases and stuff like that, and everyday purchases are Ibotcha. And then there was one that was called, was formerly known as Ebates. It's called something else now, which I'm not even going to try to renounce you and embarrass myself if you guys are not doing it. Then I have some more new apps that I'm trying out myself, which I tried out the other two as well. But um, these are new, new that I'm trying out. Um, the Dosh app, and it, that allows you to make, get cash back for everyday purchases. It just tracks it. All you have to do is put your debit card in. So every purchase you make, they automatically know, and they'll they'll give you um cash back for that. I have one far as you uh, saving money on gas. We'll definitely link that one below. Um trying to think about any others that come to mind right now. I feel like there's another one. I wanna check my notes. Alright, so I have um, for those of you that are just trying to save up money, I recommend Acorn, which I would definitely link that below too. I have saved probably like six hundred dollars 600 and something dollars with acorn which what they do is it's almost like stocks but it's it's stocks and savings at the same time so what you do is you can have it automatically saved to take out a certain amount of money every month or how often you want it to take out and it stores it and it also put it in stocks for you so you're saving money you can set up the level of like how how intense you want to like um, get into stocks and stuff. So you can make it like moderate, moderately aggressive, all that other stuff, aggressive, you know, somewhat not aggressive. So you guys definitely look into that. Um, the link below, I believe, if you sign up with the link below, you'll get $5 already automatically sent from me to you. Okay, you guys, um, definitely check that out. And I'll also link below all the other apps that I mentioned. So you guys definitely can try that out and start saving money today. Like, start saving, okay, you guys? And I will be linking some really good um, companies or blogs that help you out with couponing. Because you definitely need to start couponing. Like, I really want to start, like, extreme couponing. But I know, like, I don't know even where to start with that. So we will definitely be doing that together, you guys. You got to learn that together real quick. But I feel like the whole file and meal plan thing is, like, it's sufficient enough for me. But I'll definitely look into some more things because I'm definitely trying to become like a full on frugal mommy. So you guys definitely stay tuned because I will definitely have some money saving hacks like crazy. You guys can be like overloaded with like savings. Okay, so just stay tuned to that. So for the last and final, I have to leave the best for last. There is an actual course, you guys, that I have taken and absolutely love. And it will help you directly with this problem. This is a course that I highly recommend if you're truly serious about saving money and budgeting for a baby. Because this course goes deep within that. This course will help you find a budget, will find help you plan out what the expenses that you might be facing, plan out and give you all these resources on how to save money and things that are made for moms to help them with their baby financially. Okay? And she has so much more, like, awesome baby on the budget, like, hacks and tips that will blow your mind, okay? She is the, the go-to person. This person I'm talking about is Erin from Blunders in Baby Land, okay? She is a friend of mine, or a blogger, a mommy blogger friend of mine, okay, guys? I have taken this course personally, and I know all the amazing things within this course. So I definitely highly recommend that you try it out, you test it out, and... You definitely see all her baby on a budget tips for you guys, okay? If you want to succeed at this, this is definitely a course that you need to take. I will definitely link that below for you guys as well, okay? And now that you know all these amazing baby on a budget tips and hacks, like, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to use them? Don't make this video be a waste. Like, why, why are you giving the information and not use it? You guys have been given the keys to success. All right, you know, this is 2020. This is our year, you guys. We definitely got to keep it going. Mom, me, what are you doing? Okay, if you're serious about saving money for this baby, this precious baby you got coming, or it's already here, or if you're planning on having a baby, like, definitely make this future bright for your family, okay? So definitely check out all the tips and all of the links I have below for you guys to help you save money. And I'm so happy for you guys, and I'm so excited. For this opportunity and this this new mommy frugal journey for you guys you guys are going to save so much money yes it's going to be amazing i'm so happy
But um, definitely when you do start saving money and start, you know, seeing all of this cash coming to you guys because you're saving so much. I definitely would love for you to come back or just reach out to me and let me know. Like, let me know that my hacks have saved your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love to hear feedback from that. I love to know because then I am feeling so happy and even more, like, grateful to even be able to share these things with you guys. You know what I'm saying? So definitely reach out to me. Let me know. Leave it in the comment section below. Uh, message me on, like, Instagram or Facebook about it. Reach out to me. You guys got every social media that I have. You guys got my blog, everything. All right, I'm here for you guys. You got to know that I am here. We're best friends for a reason. Do you not know this? I am here. Okay, so definitely, um, definitely do that. Reach out to me if you have to. If you got any questions or any concerns or you just want to show me some love. I love love, all right? Like, show me some love. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I hope you guys stay blessed. Um, definitely make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on another video. And like this video. Let me know that you guys enjoyed this video and love it and would love to know more. Because if you want to know more, of course, I'm going to definitely give you more. Like, duh, this is how it works. All right, you guys. Stay, uh, stay tuned and be blessed. All right, kiss the family for me. Bye. <laughs>